Once you define the boundary of the system, you say, I'm going to interact uh, the, with the system in this way, that's the definition of the system. But, but this is true for all systems. Okay. So if I say I have a classical mechanics, I have a cannonball, and I studied the motion of the cannonball, everything seems so objective. Yes. Right? But because we're on Earth, if I put the cannonball on the surface of the sun, eh, you're not going to be able to talk about the motion of the cannonball. So even when you define the classical system, you, you have a notion, I have a, a boundary somewhere. Wait, why wouldn't I be able to talk about the motion of the cannonball on the sun? Because it would just vaporize and you have no cannonball. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and so with just saying, I have a cannonball, you're putting a constraint uh, on the environment that you have. You're going to have a certain temperature, pressure, you're going to have some sort of equilibria with the environment uh, that allows you to be able to talk uh, about a cannonball.